Your teenage years are a very exciting time in your life. You're going from being a child dependent on your parents to this adult with a bright, exciting future where you can become the person that you want to be. But this depends on making a lot of very important small choices throughout the way. So here's some tips on making good choices. First, take care of your body. Make sure that you put the right kind of fuel in your body. Eating breakfast every morning, and it can be simple. Something like a bowl of uh, shredded wheat or Cheerios with some 1% milk, a simple breakfast every morning, maybe adding a piece of fruit. That fuel first thing in the morning is very, very important. Junk food, fried foods, fatty foods, fast foods, and soda. I know you love them. I know they taste good, but getting too much of them can end up making you overweight. It can just make your body not strong and healthy. So try to cut back on some of those. And then instead, fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grain foods, um, more um, lean cuts of meat, and just plain home-cooked meals with your family. Very important to add to your life. And then don't put poisons in your body. So alcohol, um, tobacco, drugs, prescription drugs that weren't prescribed for you by your doctor, um, smoking weed, all this stuff poisons your spirit, poisons your, your body, poisons your mind, and, and can end up making you not healthy. So avoid them. And then staying safe. So this means um, in, the, in the water, making sure that you wear a life jacket or a buddy up or swim with a, with a friend. Uh, wearing appropriate protective gear if you're, say, paintballing or riding a bike or a motorcycle. Wearing that helmet, wearing those goggles. In the car, always buckle up. Don't ever, ever get in the car with someone who's driving stupid. If they're driving crazy, you don't want to put your life in the hands of someone who doesn't respect it. While driving and um, making sure that you don't get in the car with someone who's been drinking. And of course, never, ever drink and drive. And then exercise. It's a good idea to make exercise a part of your healthy life. So finding something that's fun, and that could be running 5Ks or an exercise class or something with a friend, you want to have in the back of your mind that you're going to be exercising for the rest of your life. And then protecting your, your, your skin. Wearing sunscreen every time you get in the sun and reapplying. Staying out of the sun between 10 and 2, those really high burn times. And then don't tan. Tanning causes cancer and in the, in the skin, and it just ages your skin, making, making it leathery and un, unattractive over the long haul. Brushing your teeth twice a day, getting to see the dentist on a regular basis, and don't put things, you know, things in your diet like uh, sugaries, soft drinks, and sweets that damage your teeth, trying to steer clear of them. Making sure that you protect your body and your emotions by not having sex or doing anything in a relationship before you're ready. You can get sexually transmitted diseases, unwanted pregnancies, a bad reputation, and just a lot of emotional pain by being sexually active before you're ready. So talk with uh, the adults, with the people in your family who you trust and who care about you. Get good advice and make good choices there. If you do experience a lot of emotional pain, depression, being sad or blue or feeling like things are hopeless, get help. There are some treatments for depression that are very, very effective. 
many a life has been saved by getting in for help if there's a depression. Make sure and stay organized. That means having school be a high priority. When you get home, doing your homework, staying ahead on your, on your projects, make school a priority. If you don't, the downside of that is if you make bad grades, if you don't learn the things that are important to learn in high school and middle school, then you're going to not have the options open to you as you get older. You're going to be limited. The future that you want may not be there for you because you didn't prepare yourself by working hard in school. So when you're done with your schoolwork, you'll have time to maybe watch a pro TV program or to, to play some video games. But, but don't jump into those things and just let your, your time get away and let your school wear or schoolwork fall by the wayside. If you do, you can end up not achieving the goals that you want to achieve and not being able to be and have the future that you want. And then surrounding yourself with positive people, doing things like after school activities, community and church activities that help you feel good about yourself. Compliment your friends. Be upbeat and positive. Look for the good in the things that happen to you every day. If you do that, then you, people are going to want to be around you. You're going to feel better about your life and you're going to be happier if you can try to stay positive. That's not always easy in high school and middle school where there's a lot of drama, a lot of backbiting and, and, and unpleasant things that happen. You can try to stay positive. Positive things are going to come in your way. So I wish you the best success in taking this very precious life that you've been given and making it as successful and happy and healthy and enjoyable as possible. Good luck.